What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am standing out front of HEB right now, the prized grocery store here in Texas. Normally when I do grocery hauls, what I do is take all my stuff, take it home, break down what I got. But today we're gonna do a little different. I'm gonna take this camera inside with me. I'm gonna show you what I buy. Well, my goal is to stay lean, build a little muscle, and overall have fun with my diet. So if y'all are ready, let's get this started. Come on. All right, right when we walk in, the first stop is the produce section. And to be honest, I really don't get much here, but there are a couple of things I'm gonna grab. You already know I'm making a lot of recipes, so I like to have these ingredients fresh and ready to go. This is some diced green onions. Make it super convenient. Don't add a lot of calories. Definitely add some flavor. If you got the cookbook, you know what I'm talking about. And while I'm over here, I will also get some baby spinach. This stuff is really good if you're trying to eat for volume. If you're trying to cut, you can fry this up, throw it in with some eggs, make a big salad, whatever. You're gonna get this bag for only 40 calories. Easy peasy. All right, boring stuff out of the way. Now we're gonna move into some proteins. We're looking here at ground beef. Now the only type of ground beef I ever buy is this 96% lean ground beef. It's the leanest ground beef you're gonna get. Perfect in recipes. If you want ground beef, but you're dieting, you wanna keep it lean, this is what you wanna go with. So we'll get some of that. And then another lean protein source, you can also grab is some 99% lean ground turkey. Pay close attention to these percentages on these packages. If you get 80% lean ground turkey or 80% lean ground beef, you're gonna sometimes double, even triple the calories in one serving and get less protein. So pay attention to that, man, pro tip. And obviously we wouldn't be getting protein if we weren't getting some chicken breast. I just do the full boneless, skinless chicken breast. And here at HEB, you can even get it thin sliced already. So really all you gotta do is cut it into little chunks. Most of the bad stuff's been taken off. Makes it super easy to prep. One of my go-to sources right here, whether I'm doing anabolic crispy fried chicken, some Parmesan garlic boneless wings out of the cookbook, something like that, I rarely ever just grill up chicken and eat it. It's almost always in a recipe. Then I'll also so grab a thing of these tenderloins as well. Once again, super convenient. Most of the trimming is already done and you can really bread these and have fried anabolic chicken strips in no time at all. So I'm gonna give me a pack of these as well. I think we're good on the meat proteins. Now I already got some as a home, so I'm not gonna grab it, but I'll give it a little shout out. If you wanted some meat that is easy for prep, man, don't forget you get really good macros on deli lunch meat, especially turkey breast. Easy if you're in a hurry and you just want something fast with a little bit of protein. Just keep in mind there is a little more sodium in there, but it ain't gonna hurt the weight loss. Just make you hold a little bit of water. And this is why I love HEB, man. Check this out, that fat-free mozzarella 278 a bag for anabolic pizzas, for really just about anything you wanna add some cheese to, this stuff is essential. But check it, only a 28 gram serving is 45 calories, two carbs, and nine grams of protein. Pretty good if you ask me. And it wouldn't be a successful trip if I didn't get some carb sense tortillas for making chicken tacos, making mini quesadillas, whatever. You pair this with some of this fat-free cheese. It's a real quick, easy game changer and these are only 45 calories a piece. If you got the alternative regular version of this, you're easily doubling, maybe even going over that in calories. So really, if you start choosing the right brands, you'll cut calories without even really trying. And right now, I'm low key salty, man. The 100 calorie English muffins are sold out. But I wanna let you guys know this in case you go shopping. You're gonna find some Tomish English bagels just like this, so there's a 100 calorie version you can buy. Those are perfect for the anabolic mini pizzas. Make a little sandwich with them. I love them, they're sold out. So alas, we gotta come back. Now, we need need some bread. What I recommend is you always go for these lower calorie versions like this 45 calorie Sarah Lee right here. Once again, we're choosing a better brand. We'll get two slices for the calorie cost of one just by playing our cards right. Anabolic French toast, sandwiches, yada yada. You get it. This is going to be putting our best foot forward. No good diet is complete without good condiments. My man G Hughes always coming through in a clutch. The sugar-free barbecue sauce, one of the best sauces you can get. So always make sure I have that on deck. And you already know I love my Parmesan garlic bonus wings, the anabolic version. So we will get some palm garlic sauce too. This is in no way, shape or form a low calorie sauce. But as long as you use it sparingly with a recipe like that, you're going to be good to go. So we'll get some of this as well. Also get a box of some brown rice noodles, just in case we want to make some chicken teriyaki bowls or some anabolic stir fry. And another reason I love HEB is because they have these pre-made ultra thin and crispy pizza crust, man. 380 calories a crust. It makes dinner super easy, especially if you're following the anabolic diet. Load this down with some 
marinara, fat-free cheese, your toppings, and you're in there, man. A little trip in the oven, and you're eating like a king. And we'll also get some marinara sauce while we're here. Always check these labels, man. If it's around 35 calories for a 60 grand serving, you're in a good spot. Get ourselves a pack of protein plus pasta while we're here. If you're gonna eat pasta, you're gonna need some recipes that have it as an ingredient, then you wanna get the protein plus version, man. More protein ain't hurting nobody. We will also get a jug of unsweetened almond milk for cereal, anything that really needs milk. This is the replacement you want. Also grab us a bag of zero calorie sweetener. I really go through so much of this stuff, man, whether I'm making lean body oatmeal, any of the anabolic ice cream recipes, whatever you wanna sweeten up a bit. A little bit of this goes a long way and it's way better than regular sugar. And then something I love if I'm in a pinch, man, I found this keto cereal here, this Wonderworks brand. It's 160 calories a serving, but 70 grams of protein. Pair this with the unsweetened almond milk and some of the zero calorie sweetener. You got a quick, easy meal that's got some protein in it. While I'm here, I'll also get a box of this chocolate as well. Boom. Another thing I've been messing with a lot lately is this lower sugar instant maple and brown sugar oatmeal. This is great in my lean body oatmeal recipe. So do a packet of this instead of regular oatmeal. Save me a few calories and add a ton of flavor. Plus, if you just make this, add in a scoop of protein. It's only 60 seconds in the microwave. And I'd be tripping if I didn't get a thing of Miss Buttersworth sugar-free maple syrup. If you're gonna buy sugar-free syrup, this is the closest to the real full sugar thing you can possibly get. And we'll get some complete pancake and waffle mix. This is great for any of the anabolic pancake or waffle recipes that I have on the channel. Speaking of, if you wanna make some of these delicious recipes that I have on my channel using some of these ingredients, don't forget my cookbook is available at the first link in the description. It shows you how to use all of this and create the perfect diet. Step-by-step -step instructions, everything you need to follow the best dang diet on this planet. Link down below, check it out. Anyways, let's get back to shopping. Can we all take a second and just appreciate that Cinnamon Toast Crunch is the best cereal on this planet? If you agree, comment below. If I'm wrong, comment your favorite cereal. It's the only downside to trying to eat better. That doesn't fit anywhere in my diet. We will also get a pack of these 70 calorie fiber one bars. These are great, especially if you're reaching the end of your day. You only got like 70 calories or so left in your diet. You can have one of these as a little treat, get some fiber in, perfect little snack. We will also get some fat-free whipped cream. This is perfect as a topping for French toast, pancakes, waffles, in your cereal, cover it on your significant other, really whatever you wanna do with it. And while we're here, we will get a jug of water. Gotta stay hydrated. I usually get about one jug a week. I fill it up out of my own sink. And after that, jug starts to get a little goofy, so need a new one every now and again. Then to add some flavor to that gallon, I love these Jolly Rancher drink mixers. They got the green apple here, and we got the watermelon, which I'm quite partial to the watermelon. So we'll stock up on a few of these. Boom. And then when it comes to soda, you guys already know I'm a big diet soda fan, but normally I don't buy it here because I don't really have the caffeine-free versions that I want. Normally, I'm getting diet Sprite or zero sugar root beer, but unfortunately here, they don't have either one of those. But don't be scared of diet pop, man. Get you through those long nights, let me tell you. We'll also get some plain fat-free Greek yogurt. I never just eat this stuff by itself. It is a recipe ingredient that I use quite often, so always stay stocked on that. Grab some fat free cream cheese while we're here. Once again, some recipes call for it and I like to have it on deck. We'll get some, I can't believe it's not butter spray, zero calorie butter alternative. Perfect to add butter flavor to your favorite things without the calories. Get a pack of turkey bacon, way better nutritionally than regular bacon. It's actually way better than anybody thinks it is. So if you've never really tried it, give it a shot. And then for the pizzas, we will also get some turkey pepperoni. Way better alternative than regular pepperoni. And to be honest, with this, I really can't taste the difference between the regular stuff. So in she goes. And then saving one of the best for last, we will go ahead and get a pint of 400 calorie enlightened ice cream. A little bit of protein in here, really good flavor. This is the brownies and cookie dough version. And to be honest, I normally save these for cheat meal night because I get that ice cream fix without tripling the calories eating a Ben and Jerry's. All right, guys, I think I pretty much got everything I need. Let me check out. We'll go over what all of this costs and see how we did. So we just got everything loaded up into the back of the car. Now let's take a look at the receipt. This entire trip cost me $99.81. Now to some people that might seem like a lot to spend at once, but I always preach, man, it's way better to spend it right now and then not spend any money over the next week. Get in the anabolic kitchen, make your own meals, do your body some good than it is to use Uber Eats, the drive-throughs, whatever. And you're just gonna end up spending more than this over the next few days. It's just not gonna feel like it you're spending little amounts, like death by a thousand cuts, you know what I mean? You do it this way, only you're doing your body some good, but you'll end up saving 
even money in the long run, I promise you. And there you have it, folks. It is really that easy to uh, go to the store and get you some groceries. I feel like a lot of people think going to the grocery store is this like overwhelming chore, but really all it takes is a little bit of time. And once you do it a few times, you know what you're looking for, you know what you're buying. You kind of go to the store, you beeline for what you want, you get in, you get out. Another helpful tip, I always keep a list, a shopping list right on my phone. And when I start running out of ingredients I need, for instance, as soon as I'm out of zero calorie sweetener or I need some more sugar-free pancake syrup, I make a little note in my phone that way. Next time I go, I pull this up, I know exactly what I need to get. It's really not that hard, people. The more you do it, the easier it gets. And honestly, there's like three stores right here around me that I shop at and I have all of them memorized. If I need something, I know where to go, how to get in, how to get out. We're making it efficient all while doing our body some good. So I appreciate you guys for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, smash that thumbs up button. If you wanna see me do a Walmart version of this, a Costco version, a Kroger version, comment down below. I can go do this exact same thing. And if you wanna start doing what we do on this channel, you wanna eat the best diet where you can have the foods you actually enjoy, the best versions of them. Don't forget, you can get my cookbook at the first link in my description box. I tell you what to weigh out, step-by-step -step instructions, the amount of calories, protein, everything, and all the foods you're eating. That way, if you wanna stack a chocolate chip waffles for breakfast and a pizza for dinner, you can do that while not sacrificing your diet, baby. That's the key to long-term success. When you love what you do, it never feels like work. So thank you guys, as always. FunnelBossPerformance.com. Check out the Anabars for the best tasting protein bar on the market. Meal plans and online coaching available at Fitness.com. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll teach every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Boom, boom, boom. We out of here, baby.